This technology is the first major breakthrough since the stethoscope was invented 200 years ago in terms of how people will practice medicine. Now in every physical exam, you'll look into the human body instead of just listen. This is our development laboratory. We've put an ultrasound on a chip. We have sensors that are smaller than the end of a human hair. These sensors vibrate and allow us to look into the human body and reconstruct an image. Hello, Mr. Miller. Thank you that you uh, allow us to demonstrate the ultrasound a little bit, right? So th this patient came to us clearly not doing well. And on physical exam, it was noted that his abdomen seemed large, uh, which then leaves a very broad differential diagnosis and makes it really not clear what is happening. So in the past, we would send the patient away to the x-ray department to get ultrasound there or maybe get a CT scan. But nowadays, we could um, just take out a portable ultrasound device and connect it to the iPhone. We're gonna set the abdomen preset, set the probe in the region of the liver. I can immediately see that the liver looks small and shrunken, heterogeneous in structure, suggesting chronic liver disease. And I can also immediately notice that surrounding the liver there is black, which means there is fluid in the abdomen. So I already essentially have made a diagnosis. Right now, using augmented reality, your cell phone can tell anybody how to collect data on the human heart and how to assess that heart for health. And it's as simple as following arrows that point you to the right, to the left, or to turn, and then give you a big green check mark when you have the right data. You then push a button on your phone screen and it calculates the ejection fraction, which happens to be the best measure of heart health. So now you have both a device that costs under $2,000 and you have the ability for anybody to use it. It's not the patient, it's the physician that really has to prescribe this. And does it mean the physician has to take more time in making sure that the patient, you know, uh, doesn't panic if they see something? And again, remember, the patient doesn't have the background to really look at the images. Over here is a setup that instead of just imaging, we're actually focusing those sound waves to obliterate uh, small tumors. A surgeon's knife would be a cure for cancer if it didn't spread. What we're developing is a technology that will allow us to image that spread of that cancer and erase it without ever breaking your skin.